Hi everyone, it's me West Coast Mom and right now I'm going to show you how to make shower steamers. Now a shower steamer is like a bath bomb but it's for the shower. So because it's for the shower it's actually easier to make this in the sense that there are fewer ingredients because you're not soaking in it. So you really just need the fizz and then you just need the essential oils for the aromatherapy. So they're really easy to make and so all you need are similar ingredients like the baking soda and the citric acid because that's what causes the fizz. You need some essential oils. Today I'm using lavender and eucalyptus but obviously anything can will do for what you have for your preference. And then I need some witch hazel and the witch hazel I have has been transferred into a spray bottle. And then it's kind of like a bath bomb mold. It's my sphere mold but it's only half because what we're going to do is we're going to make half circles uh, because you don't want to make a full sphere because then it'll roll around the tub while you have a shower. So this way it's flat on one side so it can just sit there at your feet as you take a shower. All right, and then I have a mixing bowl and I have some rubber gloves and uh, we can get started. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so I have one cup of baking soda and to that I'm going to add a half cup of citric acid. And so these are the two ingredients that cause the fizzing to happen, all right? And it's always two to one, so one cup to half cup, right? So it's very easy to double, triple these, this recipe if you need to. Um, and to that, I'm going to add my essential oils. Now I'm gonna add 20 drops. Uh, because the shower steamer is located further away from you, because it's on the floor of the shower, um, I like to add more essential oils, more so than I would in the bath bomb, because the bath bomb, you're soaking in it, so it's not so bad. So 20 drops altogether. So here's the lavender. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 about. And then I'm gonna add five eucalyptus. You can do any proportion that you want. This is what I like. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And then I'm going to put on my gloves because I just find it easier to mix by hand and I just like to protect my hands with that. And so I'm going to mix with my right hand and keep the witch hazel in my left hand and I'm going to spray. So first I'm just going to distribute the citric acid and the baking soda with those essential oils. And then I'm, we're going to wet it with the witch hazel. And the tricky part is you want to wet it just enough so that it sticks together. Too much and it'll fall apart. Um, not enough, it also falls apart. All right, so and like I said, if you can make bath bombs, you can make shower steamers. And if you can make shower steamers, you can make math bombs. So when I spray, I'm really just getting the surface damped, dampened. And so I have to keep mixing. And so I want to keep mixing until when I squeeze it with my hand all together, it sticks. So if I'm squeezing it right now, you can see it's still falling apart. So we're not ready yet. So, and it doesn't take long. And it's one of those things where it's easy to do too much. And then, like I said, they don't stick together and then they fall apart. All right. So it's getting better. You can see that it's sticking, but it's still not holding its shape entirely. So we're very close. We're almost there. So, and so you can see that now that that's sticking together. Now the whole bowl is not sticking together. You don't need to do it like that. We're not making bread. We're not making cookies. All right. So it's just when we squeeze it, we want it to get to stick together. All right, so that is ready to go. Now I'm gonna take my half mold. This is a two and a half inch mold. You can do any size that you want. Uh, the larger the mold, obviously the longer it lasts. So it depends on, you know, how long you take your showers for. I like this size mold and we're going to put it in. And this is like working with brown sugar. You wanna kind of tap it in, not super tightly, but firmly. Right, and we're only doing this half circle because we don't want it to roll around the tub when we're in there. So it's in there fairly firmly. All right, and then I'm going to undo it. And then there you go, that's it. And then I'm just gonna put it on this wax paper lined cookie sheet to dry overnight. All right, and you want it to dry thoroughly so that they're easier to handle. You don't have to worry about them sticking together when you store them or just falling apart. All right, so. Same thing again, I'm just gonna heap it into here, press it down firmly. Kinda tidy it up a little bit and then unmold it and there you go. 
All right, and so like I said, this recipe can be easily doubled or tripled. You can use different size uh, molds for depending on the how big you want them. You could, I could have added uh, color to this, uh, like some mica powder, which is supposed to be better for the skin. Um, you, I could have done that. A little goes a long way. It's one of those things when, once you add in a lot of powder, you can't take it out. And you can, so you could get all fancy like that if you were giving these away as gifts. Um, or you can keep it nice and simple like this. This is, like I said, just citric acid baking soda and some essential oils and that's it and so when you put these at your feet when you have a shower you can smell those essential oils um, and it can be invigorating it can be calming it can be whatever you want i like to change it up each time i make it oh, whatever my mood is and there we go this is the last one just gonna fill it in there and then when i undo it there it is whoops that one fell apart so you know, sometimes that happens and it's really dry. And then, so sometimes for the last one, you just need a little bit of extra witch hazel just to make it a little bit more damp because, you know, it didn't get all down there. So let's try that one again. See, so it's okay if it's not perfect. You can make it work. Like I said, I added a little bit more witch hazel because it was a little dry because it didn't stick together. Um, possibly I didn't push it down and, and uh, compact it enough as well. So this one, I'm gonna do it a little bit more firmly and then I'm gonna take it out. And there we go, that one worked. Oops, it went upside down and there we go. All right, so those are your, what we're going to leave to dry overnight. Um, and then they'll be easier to handle. They won't be so uh, delicate. I made these ones yesterday and then you can see that they are a little bit easier to handle you can i can stack them i can put them in a container uh, if you want to keep the essential oil smells you might want to put it in an airtight container i just put it in this just to show you um, and then like i said every time you have a shower just put one of these on the floor and as you have your shower the essential oils that put in them will waft up to you and you can smell them and it makes a really nice shower experience so there you go for more details you can check out my blog post and uh, i also have a video and blog post on bath bombs and like i said if you, it's very it's a very similar procedure to do this if you can do this you can do the other one all right so thanks for watching